We're making up a song so we can play a solo. It goes G to C to G and back to D. But you gotta throw an E minor in to make it a little more interesting. Then back to G to C to D and back to G. Play a solo now, son. Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm your host, Banjo Ben, on your favorite online home, home to learn how to play banjo, mandolin, and guitar. This week is Mandolin Week, and I'm revisiting uh, one of my most requested lesson series, uh, or lesson structures, which is my Bag of Licks lesson structure. Okay, and this one's in the key of G for mandolin. So here's what, here's what the goal of the lesson is. The goal is, if you have a song, it's in the key of G. A standard song, and you need to learn how to play a solo or play fills over that. Um, this is going to give you the ammo that you're going to need to do that because I'm going to teach you eight different G licks that are very succinct, uh, four different C licks, four different D licks, and four different E minor licks. And once I teach you how to play each one of those, I'm going to spend some time teaching you how to place them together the way that you need them in order to build solos for whatever song you're going to accomplish. So, so the point of this is not to learn how to play it exactly like I played it um, earlier that you just heard. The point is that you can take these licks and this system, go out to, to your song that you have in the key of G and learn how to put the licks together. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube here in a little while, I'll ask you to go over to the website, banjobenclark.com, where you can join as a Gold Pick member, as many of you have, thank you very much. And you can have access to hundreds of videos and tabs and MP3s, just like this one. That's another thing on the site. I not only have the video instruction, but I also have the tabs for this in PDF and TEF file form. And I've got two different MP3s of me playing the rhythm track, both at slow speed and fast speed. So you can just sit around and loop uh, that particular progression and learn how to place these licks in there as you'd like. Let's start learning these bag of licks in G. Okay, here's a bag of licks lesson in the key of G. And what I've done is I've created, um, as you heard, um, a, a fake solo progression, okay? But a very common solo progression using G chord, C chord, D chord, and E minor, okay? And this is very similar to a lot of songs in G. And what I'm gonna do is teach you a bunch of licks um, for G, C, and D, and E minor, all revolving around the key of G. And then you can take those licks and arrange them however you want. I'm going to give you later on in these videos um, two different examples. Don't forget to download the MP3 tracks uh, to where I have a slow and a fast speed of me just playing through the progression three times in a row so that you can take these licks and mix and match them and, uh, and, and, and get going on it. Uh, we're going to start through with G lick number one in the first measure. This one's two measures long, okay? Um, but you could split it up and, and use it, you know, the first measure for a little short lick, or you could use a second measure for a little short lick. But the whole thing uh, sounds like this. It's just a great little lick because it kind of goes up the G scale an octave and then comes back down the G scale an octave. So it doesn't take you anywhere that you don't want to go, really. Uh, it just kind of keeps you in home base. But we start off on that G string, the low G string, with a quarter note. Pay attention to your pick strokes there. The down arrow means a down stroke. And that's a quarter note, so it gets a full beat. Then we're gonna to go to the second fret with our index finger. And then with an up stroke, we're gonna play the third fret and then slide with our middle finger. So those first four notes sound like this. Then we'll go up to the D string and play an up stroke on the D string and then land on the second fret of the D string. So that whole first measure slowly sounds like this. And then just kind of naturally flows into measure two, which is 
kind of sounds like the lick you're playing it uh, backwards. But we're going to start on the next highest G note, which is that fifth fret on the D string. And that's a quarter note. And then we're just going to walk back down the scale. Three, two, open, four, two, open. So the whole thing together slowly sounds like this. So that's a good two measure G lick that you can place at the beginning of your solos in G if you'd like, or to maybe wrap up a solo. And these also work really well just as fill licks. You know, if somebody's singing, there's a little break in the uh, melody, you can throw these in. G lick number two, we're gonna start on that G note there, that fifth fret of the D string. And this is, I, I love this little lick. I kind of, I call it a circular lick because it goes up a little ways and back down, up a little ways and back down. Up to speed, G lick number two sounds like this. Pretty cool, huh? We're gonna start on the fifth fret and just go five, four, five. Then we're gonna climb up to the A string, open two, and then come back to that fifth fret, that G note. That's what kind of creates that circle sound. And then go right back the way that we came, open two, and then measure four, we're gonna land on the fifth fret here on the A string, and then go back to the open A string, open two, five and then land on your high G note, that third fret on the E string. So slowly measures three and four for G lick number two sound like this. Now if you just had one measure of G that you needed to fill, you could grab just like measure three by itself and then go into a C chord, whatever you need to do. For G lick number three, we're going to have one that kind of falls down. And this is a um, kind of a mandolin version of one of my favorite Tony Rice uh, guitar licks. You'll recognize when you hear it. We've all heard that before, huh? It's got a cool little pull off in it, but we're going to start on that high G note on the third fret and then to open E string and come down to fifth fret on the A string, second fret, then go back up to the open E string, five, open A string, and then we're going to end that measure on the first fret of the A string, which is a B flat. That's a flat third. That's a blues note in the key of G. So measure five just by itself sounds like this. But we're not going to stay there. We're going to pull off that note and we'll pull off going up. And when you go up to speed, it's easier to hear for the first beat of that uh, measure six. And then we're just gonna wrap it up on the D string. So it sounds like this up to speed, five and six. That's a really cool one, a good little two measure G lick that works great for feels uh, when somebody's singing. Measure seven is kind of a copy of a of a Tony Rice lick to it. His guitar playing really affects all of my instruments. But we're gonna start on this G note, and this time we're gonna go up to the sixth fret, which is a, a, a B flat, same note that we played there. But we're gonna go up to get it this time. We're just gonna go three, six, three, one. Then we're gonna land on that fifth fret of the A string for a quarter note, so. And then I would leave it down and you don't even have to pick up your index finger because the last beat of measure seven, we're gonna go right back to that first fret and then back to the fifth fret. So you might just wanna leave it down, sound like this. Then to wrap it up, we're gonna play a third fret, open, and then we're gonna slide from first to second fret and land on that fifth fret. So the whole, uh, G lick number four slowly sounds like this. That's a cool lick. Good stuff. And here in a little while, whenever we get into the progression, I'm going to show you how to put all these together. For G lick number five. Thanks.